Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video and welcome to the Peak Assembly Building where today we are going to be constructing the Ares 5 rocket because today we are doing a recreation of the Constellation Program which was kind of like the precursor to Artemis but also pretty cool, maybe even cooler than Artemis, I don't know, it didn't really have a gateway station but it did have the Ares rockets which are pretty nifty so the Ares 5 is like an SLS but like bigger it has five engines on the bottom they would have used RS 68s instead of RS 25s which is what the uh, the Delta 4 heavy uses so it, a little bit bigger than they would have used the same SRVs in a giant core stage um, it was a little bit bigger than SLS it could carry like 140 tons to orbit I don't think SLS can quite do that um, it's a pretty big rocket that we're building right now. It also would have included the Ares 1, which is kind of one of the one of the funnier looking rockets. It's like, it starts out really, you'll see later in the video when we build it, but it starts out really skinny, then it kind of gets wider. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny. So uh, we're going to be recreating like the main mission of uh, Constellation today. Um, and uh, the, way it, what, the way it works is we have our Ares 5. Uh, which is, uh, it's a moon, it's a moon mission, or a moon mission in real life. So we have our Ares 5, which is a very orange rocket, so we got to get the flags on it to get it nice and orange. And then uh, on top of the Ares 5, we're going to put a Earth departure stage, is what it's called. It's a transfer stage, basically. And a lander, which is known as the Altair lander, which is really cool, which I'll talk about in uh, just a minute when we start the build time lapse for that. And then once we get that in orbit, we're going to launch it first. Uh, then we are going to... Uh, Go back to the vehicle assembly building after we finish building the Altair. Uh, pretty much done at the Ares 5 now, but we're going to build the Altair, the lander. Then we're going to launch it. Go back into the vehicle assembly building after we launch it. We're going to build the Ares 1. We'll do that very quickly. It's like a one and a half minute build. It's pretty easy. And the Ares 1 is what's going to bring the crew up with the Orion crew module or the capsule. Uh, and then the Orion is going to dock with the Altair and transfer stage or the Earth departure stage. And the Earth departure stage is going to send us out to the Mun. The uh, lander is actually going to do our uh, orbital insertion around the Mun. And then it's going to be basically a normal mission. Um, but the Altair, which we're going to cross it over to right about now, actually has quite a few gimmicks on it. Um, the biggest gimmick it is it's absolutely massive. Um, it's really big uh, Moon lander. Uh, it's actually quite a challenge to fit it into the 5 meter fairing. So you can see right here what I do. Uh, it's kind of it's like an oct octagonal shape, octagonal shape. I don't know really what the word is, but uh, this is what it does, and it's really big. Uh, it's a two-stage lander like most moon landers. Uh, it has a bottom descent stage, uh, which actually has a lot of cargo capacity in it. It has capacity to uh, just... So what we're going to do is we're going to build... We're going to bring the deployable sciences and stuff like that, and some lights and stuff uh, with us. We can we have even more fuel capacity. We do, the, the, the descent stage does need a little bit of extra fuel because it needed to do that orbital insertion burn around the moon, uh, which is around 250, 270 meters a second of delta. To be. So there we are, just testing the fairing, and it does barely fit. Now we're going to go ahead and build the ascent stage, um, which is uh, which is quite quite big. The real one can actually carry four people, but because of the four four people or four astronauts. Uh, but the way Kerbal scaling works, we only can really fit the Mark One because you need to fit it in that five meter fairing for the Ares Five. Um, so that is going to be how that. Uh, we're going to be only only going to be able to bring one Kerbal down, um, but. Uh, yeah, like I said, the sense stage is, is really big, and the actual, the, re, the real gimmick um, is they, they had, there was a proposal for a future they could possibly do a moon base, and the, the uh, Altair, uh, once you separate the ascent stage, the descend stage, because it's that big kind of flat oct octagon shape, uh, would actually serve as the landing slash launch pad for any, like, a future base. So that is, that is pretty cool. That is, that is, that is quite cool. Kind of fun. So yeah, that's going to be, that's the Altair. Um, that's basically the mission profile, so uh, if that's something you think will be cool or something like that, you can, you know, stay tuned, watch the video, smash the good old subscribe button, gotta do the plugs, um, we've gotten a lot of subscribers lately, so thank you everyone for subscribing, you guys are, you guys are great, we've been doing streams again soon, and they've been, they've been quite fun to do, so, um, you know, we also have a Discord, and we're starting up challenges again in the Discord, uh, which, if you don't know what they are, um, it's basically like we think we do, like, hey, whoever can do this the best wins the challenge on the Discord. It's it's fun. We, we do those. Hopefully we can get them started in the next few days. Um, it's going to be fun, channels. I'm pretty happy about the channel. Pretty excited for the stuff we are going to be doing. So if you're interested, you know, subscribe button. we got a join button. You can do that. You can join tier, tier 3, maybe. Or tier... All, all the tiers are great, you know. Those are my plugs. They're great plugs. Also, comment, smash like button, all that stuff. Epic. Epic. All right. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Okay. So... Actually, you guys are awesome, especially to the members and the subscribers and stuff. We're going to be getting a new Discord mod soon, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to really, I'm going to finish up the build timelines for the Altair here, because it does actually go a long time, because I have to make some custom landing legs for the Altair. Uh, I'm not actually going to show that in the build timelines, so you'll have to wait for the, the cool reveal when we get to the mod, I don't know, viewer retention, right? 
Um, and then we are also, we, I also do a lot of like busy work stuff. We have to add all the cargo into the cargo bays and the, we have to get some reaction wheels and electrical and stuff. And all that stuff is kind of boring. And just for the interest of time, this video is a little bit longer than my normal video. I am just going to crossfade over to the launch uh, momentarily as we just put the cargo bays, just cargo uh, thingy mabobbers and thingy mabobbers. Yes. Here we are. Let's go to the launch of Z Ares 5. So we have that lander in Z fairing. The fairing is much bigger than the actual lander, but that is actually realistic to the real thing. So going to fire up the engines SRB's on and we have now uh, we've launched we're moving up all right so we're gonna start pitching over to 45 degrees by around 10 kilometers as per usual we have the five vectors firing and the two SRB's firing right now as we cross around the two kilometer mark the way this uh, the way the launch profile of this thing works is you uh, obviously you get us in the SRB's uh, as per usual and the core stage will get us uh, our app lap set basically um, and of Get, get us like 95% of the way into orbit and then the uh, the earth departure shape is going to give us that final little kick to circularize us um, and then we'll obviously launch the Aries 1 right after as we get close to SRB separation in the next few seconds and they are cut off and separated all right nice clean separation we're just going to continue to pitch over to around uh basically going to pitch all the way to the flat direction because we have a lot of thrust rate ratio with the vectors because you know five vectors a lot of thrust as we cross the approaching the 40 kilometer mark now and just the last few hundred meters a second until we are in orbit this first launch has no crew on it because this is going to get into orbit and then we're going to launch the Ares 1 next and the Ares 1 is basically the crew thing the Ares 1 was a cool rocket sad it got cancelled it's probably one of the more famous cancelled rockets i did a video a dedicated video about it a few months ago i actually got quite a bit of view this is my most popular video for quite a while actually for like a month and a half so that was pretty cool so there you go there's miko there is fairing separation and there is the separation of the earth departure stage so we're going to go ahead and circularize ourselves and then we can get ready to uh crossfade back to the vehicle assembly building for one other quick build time lapse of the uh, Ares one like i said it's only around a minute and a half two minutes at most so here you go crossfading back so first thing we have to build is the orion command and service module so we're gonna go ahead and put the docking port on put a fairing for the launch escape shield thingy and the launch escape tower uh as you can see Time for the heat shield, time for a decoupler to get the service module. Just to have our fuel tank, we can go and put uh, some solar panels on there. Get an action group for the solar panels, because some people said, hey, you should probably put an action group for the solar panels. I'm like, hey, I'm usually too lazy to do that, but I'm going to do it this time. Um, productivity, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they're gonna get the RCS module, RCS thruster module, thrusters on, and then go ahead and get some more fairings on, because this thing is fairings galore, a lot of fairings on the Ares 1 and the Orion, and, uh, just gonna go ahead and get that done. I just saw the weird arm, uh, arm of my chair move on my perif peripheral vision, and I thought someone was next to me. Um, peripheral vi I can't even speak, guys. Peripheral vision is weird. Kind of weird. Like, if something moves, get your attention, like, hey, is that a person? It was not. It was the arm of my chair. I don't know why people would be this color the color of my chair but oh well <laughs> either way we're gonna start building the upper stage of the aries one i should make a few modifications here just gonna use a j2 the real thing uses a j2x so i'm gonna use the skiff which is a normal j2 because j2x isn't really in the game i guess the skipper is kind of similar to what a j2x would be but um you know it's not so and we have enough we have enough thrust on with the sk skipper barely we do have to drain quite a bit of the upper stage fuel um i do actually make it a little bit smaller because that is that is a little bit too large for the upper stage just just a touch too big in just a second and put the srb on the bottom and that is going to be basically the entire area's one once to get the staging sorted out actually i don't i don't believe i do make the upper stage any smaller uh, i remembered wrong and what else is new <laughs> All right, so that is going to bring us to the end of the uh, construction of the Ares 1. And we can get ready to cross fade over to the launch and launch the Ares 1, which is kind of a disaster to control because this is the one SRB and the SRB does not have a lot of gimbal. So the thing kind of, if you don't fly right, it's going to just, it's going to flip over and, and die. So uh, we have to do a pretty steep ascent profile, not because I wanted to, just because I kind of have to so I don't blow up. Um, the, <laughs> the, the SRB pulls a lot of, a lot of Gs during later parts of its burn, so... It's actually my, my preference not to go super steep because our app laps can get super like if I'm not if I don't pay attention to it, our app laps can easily get to like 200 kilometers when the SRB uh, cuts out which is not what you want because our our uh, our our, uh, our, our departure stage and lander is at a 100 kilometer orbit so once we get above like around 15 kilometers when the air really thins out we can actually kind of flatten it out without without us looking over I get really aggressive. Uh, with the uh, flattening because our, our app lab really starts to get away from us as we burn last 200 meters a second and cut off I actually this actually kind of was quite 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 worked out um uh like if you look at our separation it's like under 
it's like 10 kilometers around or 20 kilometers so that was kind of funny how that just kind of works so we're gonna uh start up the second engine or the uh the second stage and you can see uh, this an object enhancer you can see the thing flying across the screen like uh, there's our target uh, if you wonder visual mods i have i have environmental visual enhancements uh Shrammer visual pack scatterer and distant object enhancer as i said earlier if that even really counts as a visual uh mod it does it does visually enhance the game so um, okay, gonna go ahead and do our docking now, uh, like, like so. I'm just doing the long, lazy method of docking, because it is, it is quite good, you know, Matt Lown, you have good, you have good method of docking. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get close. I always forget how slowly this thing rotates, so I do kind of just fly right past it. Uh, this, this video took way too many attempts to film. Like, it's, I'm releasing it, like, a good day later than I wanted to. Not because it was difficult. There's just a lot of dumb problems that happened with it. Like, uh, uh, the docking ports wouldn't come together. That's because of a stupid thing where I accidentally occupied the node of the docking port. So, you can see the lander looks ever so slightly smaller. Uh, different, the, not smaller, but different. The, uh, the Altair, the upper, the Ascend stage, and almost breaking the solar panels there. Um, like, yeah. There's some weird stuff, so I had to make some few changes. But there you go, gonna go ahead and dock and get ready to do, um, get ready to burn our Earth departure stage. So we're gonna head off to Zaman. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be the that's gonna be the plan. Yeah, like I said, it, it did take a few times to a few attempts to film, um, because the docking parts, and I, I couldn't figure out why. Because I, I was streaming today, so I'm like, I gotta stream, but I also gotta get this thing done. I gotta, you know, I gotta get the, uh, gotta get this video done. I need to get it done. Again. So that's why it's getting released later tonight. Um, and also I forgot to film one ascent, but the point is. It works, so we're getting ready to do our trans lunar injection, which we're doing right now. And now we can get ready to do our, our lunar coast, where we don't really don't really do much. Um, we can, you know, we can start it. We can start a new. What is the thing that? What is? I don't know. I what, what is Matt? Like? He does those, those those whiskey reviews, doesn't he? I should start water reviews. Oh my gosh, guys! Welcome to water reviews, episode one. So we're gonna be starting out with Dasani. Yes, we're actually doing this. I have no idea why, but we were actually doing this. So starting off with Dasani water today, introduced in 1999, I think. I actually don't remember. I had the Wikipedia pulled up a second ago. I think it was 1999. Um, um, produced and manufactured and created by Coca-Cola Company. The Dasani water is most famous for being absolutely disgusting and containing like cancer-causing stuff and. So, um, yeah, that was the whole thing a few years ago where, like, Dasani water was all gross and crap, so don't buy Dasani, even though I've bought it quite a few times. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an average bottle of water. Um, maybe we'll have to, we'll have to try out maybe Fiji, Fiji water next. I don't know. We're landing, so maybe I should stop the water reviews. So, we're gonna go ahead and deploy the landing legs just now. Quite, quite nice. I, I kind of like how those came out. They're, they're pretty okay. So, here we go. Coming in for a nice little landing. And... Touchdown! Welcome to the mun, everybody. Or the one Kerbal. The, yeah, I guess you guys. I don't know if I'm, I guess you guys would count as people. <laughs> All right, so we go ahead and plant our flag, and I forgot to set the right flag, so the flag is the same texture as the Ares Five, so it's like just a weird sandpapery orange-looking flag. But either way, we can go ahead, and I actually completely forgot to check what Kerbal I brought, and I actually luckily brought a Kerbal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the thing deployed. I'm gonna just for the interest of time crossfade to the uh, little kind of outposting here, construction being finished. So there it is, and now we can get re-embarked onto our lander or descent stage now, and get ready to head back to Kerbin. And here's where something kind of cool happens. My, my my LKO or my LMO, my low lunar orbit, low lunar orbit is really messy, but we got an eclipse. Look at this, we got an eclipse. Eclipses, eclipses are cool. I could have waited for the eclipse to pass so we could actually um, do our ascent and docking in the daytime, time, daytime side, but hey, eclipses are cool. So there you go, depart. You can see how the thing can actually be used as a landing pad down there. Uh, you can kind of think about it. So there you go, get the time lapse going for the final time and let us go ahead and get into an orbit. Everything is weird and Kind of see how the light is reflecting off, or like refracting, kind of, or bending off of the off the Kerbin's atmosphere, and it kind of looks like it kind of looks like a sunrise. But um, the texture of the moon is also kind of broken; it's like all black and weird looking. But uh, either way, I mean, I guess it, you would expect it to be black at, at night, but um, <laughs> it's it's weird if you look at the video. So we're gonna go ahead and do our final docking of the video. We're gonna dock the Ascent Stage to the Orion Command and Service Module. There it is. Hello, how are you? You've been enjoying. You've been enjoying hanging out in orbit. I hope they have. So, I do the good old long lazy method. I'm gonna going to bring it together, and just as we dock, as you will see, just to add a little bit of coolness to the docking, uh, we get it. We get a really weird visual glitch. So, you know, what else is new? Visual glitch, KSP. You know, <laughs> yeah. 
what else is new? So there it is. A dock. All right, so we're going to go ahead and transfer the crew over. We can go ahead and ditch the lander. And we can get ready to go back to curb. And Antax is kind of cool because the eclipse ended right as we started our burn. Which is really cool seeing like the light just like, hello, light. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do the burn. And there it is. And cut. Cut, 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 cut. Alrighty, heading back to Kerbin. Almost there. You can, if you want to, I know a lot of people probably want to leave right now, but if you want to stay tuned for like 30 more seconds, we get a kind of cool shot. We get a cool thing happens on our landing. So, and uh, there we go. Gonna start blowing up here. Almost get something running into us, but that's, yeah, I guess that's kind of par for the course around here. So, through 10 kilometers now, and here is my very, 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 very. Very, 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 very last second parachute deployment. There it goes, and... <laughs> yeah, I really don't think you can get it much later than that. That is about as about as late as you can get it. <laughs> that was kind of funny. All right, that's going to be against the end of today's video. You're going to see on screen right about now a picture of all of our members. So thanks to all you guys. And if you want to join a member you become, or become a member, you can hit the join button. But that is going to be it for me today. I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate our comment to the video. And again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.